Good morning, YouTube. And another fantastic haul. And it's Weekend Shopper coming at you, saying hi to everybody. And hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to have two separate videos again because there's a lot of stuff in the back. And I don't even have everything on the table yet. But um, that's going to be different types of things. Electronics, shoes, purses, um, Nintendo. So, in a gigantic jewelry box. But for the time being, I'm just going to concentrate on the jewelry this morning. And get this up and out of the way for you. And then I'll do my second video. So, here we go. So, at the very top... Oh, and by the way, um, I was at a rummage sale and a lot of garage sales this weekend. So, this is what I got from... This was from garage sales. Over here we have... And I, I could not pass this up. It looks like Wonder Woman. It looks like her bracelet. And that was a dollar. It looks like brass to me. Could be wrong. But it's pretty great. And it has a ticket on it. It says lead free. Right next to it is a cuff bracelet. Um, that I found at a flea market a couple weeks ago, but I forgot to show you guys. Not sure if that's gold filled, but it has a lot of ornate detail to it. That I did pay up for. I paid five dollars. She, she originally had it twenty two dollars, but I got it for five. Over here we have a copper bracelet. And it is marked copper. It appears to be Native American. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know the, the maker on it. In the back here we have WM Company, which I think it stands for Wheeler. And these are also Native American looking type of cuff bracelets. And they are marked copper, and they do have that WMCO stamped on them. That was uh, from garage sales. Over here is just a simple silver tone etched bracelet. Got that from a garage sale. That was 50 cents. Over here we have, now I'm not sure if this is... Eh, bone. I don't want to say ivory, but I'm not really sure. But I found these two together at a garage sale. And funny enough, it was raining like crazy. I mean, we've had a lot of rain for several days. And she opened up her garage sale at 2 p.m. So I picked that up for 50 cents. Well, actually, I got a whole bunch of stuff for $5, so... It could have been a quarter, it could have been 50 cents. I mean, I got so much stuff, it was ridiculous. So, $5 for everything. So, let's just say maybe 25 to 50 cents. So, I got that. And it opens up like that. And it has an uh, elephant carving on the front. Right next to it, I also got it the same garage sale. So, 25 50 cents. And I'm not sure exactly what this is. I mean it's cold. It sort of reminds me of jade but I don't think there, there's a jade that has that coloring to it. That was 50 cents and the little chain is broken but that's easily fixed. Below that I have a toggle bracelet. That was also 50 cents at a garage sale. And directly below that I have a turquoise stone bracelet which I actually thought was sterling but I don't see any markings so I'm gonna to have to test that that was 50 cents at a garage sale and that right below that is a gold tone with rhinestone prong set rhinestones it is missing a stone on one of them I believe I could be wrong, but it was actually missing a stone. That was uh, 50 cents at a rummage sale. 
this is one of those um, plastic or lucite type of bracelets, maybe 50s, 60s. That was a dollar, and it included something else in it, but I didn't really want to show that. It wasn't worth it. And then here we have a Geneva watch, Swiss made. Just thought it was really pretty. Um, I think this might be mechanical. I don't think this is a quartz. But I think there's wrong with the there's something wrong with the winding mechanism. That was probably 25 to 50 cents. And then here we have a box type of watch. Look at this for you. That opens up. And it is marked Bucherer, B-U-C-H-E-R-E-R. -E -E that was 50 cents. Now, I don't know if this has a battery to it. It does have um, some screws in the back. So I don't know exactly what this is. I don't know if it's mechanical if or if it's a quartz. But I, I've looked these up on eBay, and they're pretty pricey. Below that, I just have a simple pendant shell necklace. It was like 25 cents. Across from that, I have an anklet that is sterling. Usually, you could tell by the lobster claw clasp. They're made differently from the... Um, from the regular costume jewelry. I paid a dollar for that. And I'm not going to get to that stuff first. You guys are going to have to wait. So over here, I have a big chunky, and I, I think this was like 20, I want to say like 23 grams of sterling silver. And it is marked. It's a brutalist type of ring. Very cool looking ring. ring. And I picked that up for... She went... I think she wanted $5 and I picked it up for 3 Good deal. And here we have a whole bunch of sterling and costume rings. That one's really cool. I like that one. It's a giraffe. It's 9 to 5 that one's 9 to 5. That one's 9 to 5. That's just costume. That one there has different inlaid stones. It is marked 9 to 5. And it looks like it's lapis and malachite. And maybe a red jasper. Just all different colors. It looks very southwestern to me. Let's see it in the ring. It's very pretty. And all of these rings were 25 cents each. Another just filigree type of sterling silver ring. Just some costume jewelry. This one here is alpaca with abalone inlay. That was 25 cents. And in the front here we have an Emmons. And they, they make pretty good jewelry. Um, vintage ring. That was 25 cents. Here we have the earring lot. And up here at the top, those are Swarovski, and they are stamped Swarovski. Those were 50 cents. These are some it's like pink stone with um, clear rhinestones on the outer edges. That was part of the lot that I got these bracelets from for five bucks. So give or take 25, 50 cents. And here's some jade earrings. And ear clip ons. And those were 50 cents. And by the way, um, some of this jewelry I also got 
at a church rummage sale, which was absolutely crazy. I mean, there were so many people in line. Everybody was just anxious to get in there. Oh, God, it was just nuts. But, you know, you got you have to deal with that when you're, do, when you're dealing with rummage sales. And here we have some Irwin Pearl. And they're also, again, a pretty good jewelry maker. And that's like a matte gold tone clip on earrings. Below that, just some silver tone heart shaped type of probably stainless steel earrings. Right next to that, I was so bummed out because these are marked. And they are marked Christian Dior. The only problem is that the enameling is missing on one of them. And those were 50 cents. And typically on eBay, Christian Dior jewelry, even though it's custom, goes for a pretty good price. So if I can find that enamel part, which will probably never happen, um, I might just have to put them in a lot with something. Below that we have sort of like a marble look type of earring and these are non-magnetic so I'm thinking they might be sterling. I'm not sure. They might have been handmade. I'll have to test those. Those were 50 cents. And here we have that um, Chinese symbol, um, enameling. And I think these are, or these were 50 cents also, and they might be sterling. I'll have to test it. Directly below them is that tragedy, comedy, tragedy type of earrings. Those are um, sterling silver. Those are 50 cents. Across the way, we have um, Shia West, made in the USA. She makes a lot of that southwestern jewelry, and these still have the original tags in the back. As you can see, the original price was $22. I got them for $0.50. Cents. They are brand new. Over here we have some brooches. And this one is a Christopher Radko, and it is marked on the back. Brand new. Christmas tree type of uh, brooch. And really pretty inset rhinestones. That was 50 cents. Below here we have some JJ jewelry. And that is a rose. Gold tone um, ivory type of rose. With a cute little ladybug on it. And some clip on earrings. That was 50 cents. Next to that is a rose brooch, gold tone. It's not marked. I, I have no idea who made that. That was 50 cents. I thought it was cute. Right next to it, we have a 50s type of brooch. Very cool looking, but it is missing two stones on it. I don't know if I'll repair that or, again, maybe put it in some sort of a lot. Next to that we have some Damascene, and this one is of a ship, an armada, made in Spain. Very pretty. That was 50 cents. And like I said, all this stuff either came from a rummage sale or garage sales over the weekend. Right below that, another Damascene fan with um, some floral decoration on it. And that is a trombone clasp. So that's probably an older piece. Here we have a little Christmas brooch. Some reindeer. And it one eye is missing off one of the deer. That was 50 cents, and that one was also 50 cents. Here we have some wood, I think it's lacquer, and that's probably hand painted. 
And it is signed. It's kind of hard to make out the name. Oh, maybe you, you guys can make it out. Macumbo, but something, you know, whatever. But it's really pretty, and <laughs> it was 50 cents. This, oop, I'm gonna turn around for you, is a Harley Davidson. And that's like a, like a membership tag pin. That was 50 cents. That was nice. I mean, this was a little rhinestone hair clip or barrette. That was 50 cents. Another little pin with rhinestones, vintage. They had marked three dollars on it, but everything was like two for a dollar at this one garage sale that I went to, so I picked that up. Above that is a Monet teddy bear pin. It's really cute, so tiny. And it is marked Monet on the back. It's in great condition. I think that was well, it's actually marked. Yeah. It's marked 50 cents. Next to that, I have a Salvador Tehran made in Mexico. And as you can see, the little ceramic piece is broken so I'm gonna see if I can repair that and of course I would always disclose that but it is marked and these are pretty collectible I, I think this one might have been made in the 60s I'm not sure but as you can see it has all the marks on the back Oops. there you go above that I have a jade and maybe coral where the eyes are that's a brooch pin that was originally marked ten dollars it says christmas jade butterfly really pretty pin that was 50 cents another 50 cent piece of a rosebud silver tone and gold tone on the bottom Above here, some really well-made costume jewelry. I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. This is an Aurora Borealis, and there, it is unsigned, which I'm really, really shocked, but if you look at it, you can see the design from the back is very well-made. It's not running off into other parts of the actual brooch. And the gold tone is still vivid. And those stones, those stones, those, those stones shine so bright. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. That I was at that one remit sale that I paid for these two items here for a total of five dollars. That's a beautiful, beautiful pin. And below that again from the same garage sale, very clear stones prong set, just like that one. And then you look on the back. There is a little bit of patina on the back of this one. But still, again, very well made, unsigned. So between 25 to 50 cents. Above that, I have a Crown Trafari. It is marked on the back on the leaf, Crown Trafari. That was 50 cents. Above that is uh, an Avon piece. It's a little heart in the middle. Kind of reminds me of that Clada, a Clada design from Ireland. And that was 50 cents. Not too collectible on the Avon stuff, but still very pretty. Here we have an alabaster, a little trinket box. Got that at the rummage sale for 50 cents. 
over here at a garage sale. I got a double heart and those are actual diamonds. They're actually, I think they might be just diamond chipped, but still diamonds. And that is a sterling silver necklace made in Italy. And it also marks sterling silver on the pendant. That was, uh, I think that was a dollar. This is a vintage 1950s sort of starburst gold tone necklace. There's a little bit of patina on the actual pendant, but the chain itself is very, very clean and um, the gold plating is perfect. That was 50 cents. Next to it, I have an older chain, which I'm thinking, again, Art Nouveau. It's well made. And looking at the clasp, it kind of tells me that it's possibly Art Nouveau. That was 50 cents. Next to that, I have a enamel shell, <coughs> excuse me, enamel shell crown trafari. It is marked crown trafari. A little bit of patina on the back. But the chain is really in good shape and the front of it is in very good shape. Next to that, I have a Diane von Fustenberg. And if you can make out the actual hang tag, that's her logo. And it's shaped like a V with rhinestones. Those are very collectible. This is probably, I want to say 1970s, 1980s. Right next to that is just your typical faux pearl, and it is knotted in between. Faux pearl necklace for 50 cents. I thought it might be possibly, you know, the 14 karat gold class, but it's not. And next to that, I have another faux pearl. Very pretty clasp. That was 50 cents. The last of the um, necklaces over here is a crown trafari. And that kind of reminds me of like a Maltese cross. Excellent condition. It is also marked, I believe, at the top there. Yep. And above that, I have two small vanity mirrors. And I think this one was a dollar. And you can see how really, really pretty it is. So cute. I don't think that's real stone. I know it's definitely not real pearl. But very pretty. With a felt backing to it. Right next to that is another vanity mirror, also a small one. And I paid 50 cents for that. Ugh, excuse me, sorry. I'm here on the felt there. The next to that is a Roger Galay Paris. <laughs> I, I cannot pronounce this. Eau de Jujembre? Gingembre. It's kind of a rare um, perfume. And I did pay $2 for that one. Next to that is Exclamation. 
to me that stuff still smells great and the larger one was a dollar and the smaller one was 50 cents and they're, and they're pretty full right next to it you have a very collectible high karate and I think the manufacturer was Leeming Fitzer and it's stamped in the back um, of this paper in the interior it says 1966 to 1968 and these are going on eBay for like crazy amounts I mean you have some that are 50 some that are 100 some that are 150 it's just nuts but it's very collectible and it looks full so I paid a dollar fifty for that next to that is Eau de Sore it's made by Sicily and even their miniatures are pretty pricey that I paid 25 cents for and on eBay just this little miniature you could get like 15 bucks which is nuts right next to that is Heavenly by Victoria's Secret and I paid 50 cents for that and the better part so at the top here I was at a rummage sale and everybody was passing this up and I kept looking at it and looking like ah it's probably custom jewelry eh. and it was it was marked two dollars like yeah I'll pick it up I mean it's in a really you know nice box so I'm like well why would they put custom jewelry in a nicer type of box and sure enough it was marked it is marked on this clasp here but it's really hard to tell it does say 14k so it's got the 14K clasp, it's a three strand um, cultured pearl, and those are real pearls. And that's the gold bar in between, the separators. And then on the end here, that is also gold. So, not bad for $2. Below that, um, I have a pair of 14 karat gold earrings that I paid 50 cents for. I don't know if you can see the mark. It's kind of hard to tell. But it is... Ugh. It is in there. And I didn't weigh these. They're light. Oh, here you go. Maybe you could tell on this one. There you go. It's still a good deal for 50 cents for 14 karat. Can't beat that. Right next to it is another pair of 14 karat gold earrings for 50 cents. And I believe the tulip, or yeah, I think that's, yeah, it's definitely a tulip. Um, the tulips are coral, maybe an angel skin coral. Those are 50 cents and they are marked 14 karat. And here is just a backing, 14 karat gold backing. I did buy the earrings, but the earrings weren't really anything, so I separated the the gold backing, and the earrings were like 50 cents. And over here, actually I did go to an estate sale too, I forgot about that. I got this in an estate sale, and this was sitting with some belts, um, and I asked her how much, and she's like, I don't know, like a dollar, and I said, how about 50 cents? And she said, fine. So that is a dragonfly and it's only one earring so 14 karat dragonfly here's some mixed freshwater beads and they are real freshwater and those are 50 cents and then these were with this lot that I paid a total of $5 so give or take 25 cents to 50 cents these are marked right there 585 and I don't know if these are bone or something else but I think that's 14 karat around there somebody went and changed out the, the backings which was a bummer but I guess I could always replace them with 14 karat those were either 25 or 50 cents here we have some sterling and branch coral earring hey guys um Sorry about that. Something, some sort of problems with my camera while I was filming. 
Um, we were talking about the branch coral earrings. And these are sterling. They are vintage. They're screw back earrings. And that is a real branch coral. Red branch coral. So those were $2 at a garage sale. And then the back here I have two pairs of uh, 12 karat gold filled earrings. One like a little dangle. Well actually they're both dangle earrings. These are actually real pearl. And this is just some rhinestone dangle earrings. Those were 50 cents each. And I didn't show you when we were by the brooches. This little item here. I think this is a fur clip maybe? I don't know. Or something. Sweater clip type of deal. I don't know. But it is an older piece. And all the rhinestones are clear. It's really pretty. So I wanted to make sure I showed that to you guys because sometimes I skip over stuff and I don't even realize it. But um, that was pretty much all of the jewelry haul. And like I said before, I will be coming back with another haul with different types of collectibles and electronics and uh, Nintendo. All the other kind of stuff. So this is Weekend Shopper signing off for the time being. And if you guys liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe, even leave a comment. You guys have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye.